Hello everyone, I'm Emre. Today in this video I'm gonna try to show you a very different, very rustic, very mediterranean and super mouth-watering recipe. And finally the name of the recipe is artichoke with lamb and with dry packs. So if you're ready, if you're curious about it, let's go see how to make it. So we need to start with the onions, but first I just wanna check uh, if my pan is hot or not, it's hot. By the way, I'm using a cast iron pan. I highly, highly recommend you to have one if you don't have any. It makes a really, really big difference, especially for meat, vegetables, actually whatever you want to cook in. So I add only like a tablespoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. This is only, this is only for roasting the onions, which goes in right now. So I'm gonna roast the onions like this for approximately five minutes. This recipe is actually quite special. This is coming from Ottoman cuisine. In case you don't know what Ottoman is, Ottoman is the previous uh, former country of Turkey. So before the Republic of Turkey, it was Ottoman Empire. And the kings were into eating a lot. <laughs> this is why they had like special teams of uh, chefs, special teams of cooks who used to create special recipes uh, for the kings. So this is one of those recipes and they try, they sort of were trying to find the golden ratio in cooking. So for aroma, for enhancing the uh, flavors, they used to use uh, dry fruits just like we are going to use today. The, the dry pears. The onions are almost ready. By the way, I didn't chop the onions, I just uh, processed them in my food processor because my eyes are quite sensi sensitive to onion. I can't even properly see when I chop onions. This is why I process them. And I have a video about how to chop onions without crying if you would like to see it. It's just like on this corner or on this corner, I'm not sure. The onions are ready, so the meat goes in. Uh, which, is which is 250 grams of uh, bris lamb brisket. If you do not like meats which has a lot of fat, then you can use beef. But for me, this is the, this is one of the best kinds of meats in the world because it's super soft as a cotton and it's super delicious and it makes a whole difference, especially in this recipe. So I'm gonna roast the onions and the briskets together for, for five minutes, let's say, and then I'm gonna continue with the other ingredients. By the way, you do not need to mix it like this all the time. Now the artichokes goes in. By the way, my art artichokes were washed clean and divided into pieces. If you would like to see how to uh, clean artichokes because it's, it's, it's quite hard to clean them, you might find a lot of beneficial videos on YouTube. I didn't want to show it in the video because if I did, the video would be so long and it would be boring, so I didn't. Now it's been two minutes, so two cloves of garlic, which is chunked into just like random pieces, go in. And like half a cup of dried air, which is the best things to add in a food if you also have some lamb in it. It enhances the aroma so good, because it also makes the food a little sour and also a little sweet. So it makes it really qualified. I just gave the quick stir and now 750 milliliters of hot water meets the vegetables and the meats. The deal is for later, so it's, li it's still waiting it's for turn. Now I can add some salt and pepper. There is no measurement for pepper and salt because you need to add it like for your own taste. Just put how much you like. Now I can close the lid, but I'm not going to close it completely because normally, uh, you know, on the lids of the pans there are small holes to take off the extra steam, but my lid doesn't have it, this is why I'm keeping it a bit open from the side like this. And I'm gonna cook it for approximately 35 to 40 minutes. After 35 minutes I'm gonna check it and we'll see if it's done or not. So, it's been 35 minutes, let's see if it's done or not. It seems perfectly to be done. Well, if I have to be honest with you, it doesn't seem to be too perfect. It's not too beautiful. 
but I can assure you that the taste is perfect. For this kind of a situation, Italians have a perfect saying, they say, the more ugly, the more delicious. So especially for like this kind of rustic food, Mediterranean food, this idiom works perfectly. So, I'm gonna turn off my stove and I'm gonna serve it. Uh, by the way, if you just started to cook and if you do not know how to understand if a food is cooked like by its smell, by its image or whatever, like this kind of cool things, then you then do not hesitate to take a piece and taste it and understand if it's done or not. Especially you can try to eat the hardest uh, ingredient in your recipe. For example, if you are making a ratatouille and if you taste some carrots, for example, carrots generally is the thing that gets cooked uh, in the longest time. So you can take a piece of carrot, eat it, and if it's done, if it's soft, it means everything else is done. It means the food is done. So I'm gonna serve it now in this rustic ancient cup that I love. So the artichoke with dry pears is perfectly ready to be enjoyed. I hope you'll give it a chance and you will try to make it at home. Believe me, it's going to be different than any kind of artichoke recipe that you've ever tried in your entire life. So I hope you like this recipe. I hope you'll try to make it at home. If you do, do not forget to like my video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for free if you wish. And do not forget to give me video suggestions about any kind of specific food. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.